Welcome to RetroGamerJapan.com. Uh, here we've got a nice little Famicom, and as usual, the number one controller doesn't work too well. Uh, it's a little bit mushy. The number two, of course, is perfect. Here, I'll show you the number two. Right here, if you can see that. This one, you know, typical number two. It's perfect. It's even got the little uh, the plastic cover part still there, and everything feels great. So that is normal. Here's the number one. We've got it in pieces. Um, and sure enough, the uh, the little rubber membrane. If you can hope you can see that, the little rubber membrane is has cracks in it. Let me try to show you one. There, if you can see that little crack. I hope you can see that. And there is another little crack right there. So that's the that's the bad part. Um, it's a little bit dirty. We'll clean that up too. I just took all the pieces apart. Um, um, that was the up and down buttons. Amazingly, the A, B buttons, they, they look pretty good. The membrane there on the, the rubber part on the A, B looks pretty good. So what I did was I knew I needed another one of these parts. Um, so I went scavenging and I found another number one controller. Pulled it apart, but oh no, it's even worse. So, chuck that idea. Um, then I came across a really nice number two. And it's kind of dirty on the outside. It looks like it's been played a little bit. But the up, down, uh, left, right rubber part, um, it's a different color, but it's the same piece. Um, and it, it's perfect. Well, not perfect, but it, it has no uh, no holes in it, no cracks in it. Looks really good. So I'm gonna clean this up, put it in here. And if you've never seen here, I'll show you the inside of the uh, number two controller. It's kind of neat. Or here here's the number one for comparison. There's the number one board, real simple. And if you can see it, there's the number one board. Here is the number two board, and it's got that little uh, the little microphone in there, a little speaker microphone thing above. That's pretty cool when I open it up. And it also has the, oops, here's the slider volume control there. So uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to go ahead and go downstairs, clean this up, and then put it back together and test it and see um, see what happens. Okay, so we'll stop, pause now, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. We cleaned all the parts, um, and now we just need to put it together. So we put the uh, put the plastic pieces in like that. Oh, that's a piece from the uh, two controller, which we don't need. There's another piece we don't need. Um, here's the white piece. We know it's good. We've checked that out. Put that piece back on top like that. Here's our uh, four-way piece, and that was bad on the last one, but we scavenged this one from the other. This is looking dirty. Why? I don't know. Okay, I had the wrong piece there. There's the clean one. Still looks good. Put that back in there like that. Oh, got it backwards. It's got to line up right here. Um, okay, now all we need to do is put in the... Um, put in the board for this and if you're you know if you're kind of confused about which way the board goes in you just know that um, these parts right here are the contacts so they go um, right on top of this so it's going to go like that and there's one that part right there kind of pops through, so you'll know when you get it when you get it in there nice. If you're not sure, you can take it back up, take a look. But it kind of just lays right in there like that. Okay, and now this cord just kind of snakes around that part right there. And there you go. It's in there really nice. Um, yeah, and I clean this part too. Just put it in water and hit it with a toothbrush. Now that goes on top there. And then I'll pause the video uh, while I 
put the screws in here and then we'll give it uh, a little final test and see how it feels. Okay, so be back. In. Okay, um, I've got everything hooked up, got the screws in and, and it, it feels really good. Nice, good response. Um, so now what we'll do is hook it up and put in my old, old copy of Super B. I didn't even know what it was at first, but it's, uh, oh, sorry, not Super B, it's Twin B. Put in my old Twin B tester, because Twin B is good, because you get to use the uh, directional uh, pad a lot. Okay, anyway, I'll be back in a second. When I'm testing controllers, I like to use Twin B, because I can move left, right, up, and down. It really gives the controller a workout, and this feels, feels great. Now we've got the rubber parts back in there. Uh, and it, it just feels like it ought to. So, thanks for watching the video. Please stop by RetroGamerJapan.com. We'd love to see you there. Bye-bye.